Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emma if you're new here. So today I did a prom makeup tutorial for you guys since it is prom season. So fuzz. This is a little bit different from my other makeup tutorials because I made it a lot more natural and this is my take on like natural glam prom makeup. It's much more focused on the skin, the eyes, if you look at them, they're pretty simple. I tried to use more natural lashes. I used the Ardell Demi Wispies, but they just wouldn't stay on my eyes. So I just like picked the next most natural lash that I had and it was these. And I think this looks bomb, but I know that everybody won't like this dramatic of lashes for their natural prom makeup look. So yeah, that's why mine looks a bit more dramatic. But the actual makeup on my face is super natural and it is still glam, it's still prom. And I give you a ton of tips and tricks on how to achieve the perfect prom makeup look with a little bit lower skill level. You wanna see how I got this kind of like rose gold, shimmery, natural glam prom look, then just keep on watching. Um, so before I get started, I want everybody to admire my shirt. It says, there's no crying in baseball. And not only is this one of the softest shirts that I've ever put on my body, um, it's one of my favorite movies. And if you know the movie, comment down below with like heart emoji. So I know who's like um, cultured on my channel. So I'm going to begin as usual with my eyes. I'm gonna do tart shape tape as my eyeshadow base. Just plopping that on. So I'm just gonna blend that out. Doesn't have to be too per precise or anything. I just have like a pulsing pain in my nose. It feels like I'm about to get a nosebleed, but I've never had a nosebleed, so how would I know what that feels like, you know? After I've applied that kind of base, I'm going to begin eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, I'm going to be going in with my Soft Glam palette from Anastasia. And this is like a really great palette for beginners. It is a little bit pricey. I think it's $42. But the shades are awesome. The eyeshadows are super high quality. And they're all like natural. And then there's some more like dramatic ones down here if you want to get crazy or something. I'm going to go in with this MAC 217 brush. And I'm going to take the color... Orange soda mixed with burnt orange, just to begin. And I'm just gonna go right in my crease. Right in like where your eyelid meets your brow bone. And this does not have to be exact or anything. Just get like a fluffy brush that's kind of soft and it's not really precise. And you don't need an eyeshadow to do this either. You can use bronzer. So I'm just throwing that on. Once you get your first layer down, you're going to start focusing it on the outer corner. So literally I'm just tapping on the outer edge of my eye. And because this color is so light, it doesn't like, just tap it on and it'll look blended pretty much. So you'll just go around the edges. I'm going to make it like a tab more dramatic just for entertainment purposes. And I'm going to go in with this color and it's called Rustic. Right where we patted the on the outer corner, I'm going to go in with this darker color just kind of sweep towards the inner corner from the very outer corner like that. And then I'm gonna take it slowly into my crease where we went before. Just kind of like doing in the shape of a rainbow, like like that. And the key to not getting like super crazy is just picking up small amounts of product at a time and slowly working it onto your eye. I'm gonna go in with Sienna as well because it's a little bit warmer it's like a red tone and this look is going to be rose gold so i'm going to pat that on the outer corner as well do the exact same thing that i just did with rustic excuse me take it into the crease just like that that is like all i'm going to do for the matte shadows so now i'm going to use my l'oreal infallible eyeshadow in amber rush so it's an og it's super good so I'm going to take this flat brush and just pack it onto my brush like this. To make this a little bit more pigmented and foily, I'm going to take a spray, just any spray, and just spray your brush like three times. And then you're going to put it right on your eye. Now, you're literally just going to put this everywhere that you didn't put the matte eyeshadows. So you can do that or you can go in with your finger 
which I'll do on the other eye. And it looks like that. Just a little bit hard to like get in the uh, smaller spaces of your lid with your finger. But when you use your finger, you don't need to spray. Pretty much the same. So that's like the eyes almost complete. So now I'm going to do some eyeliner for you guys and just show you a really simple way to do eyeliner. I'm just going to do liquid, I think. I'm going to take the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And I find that liquid is actually the easiest to work with. It just takes some practice to get used to. So what I do is I take it out. I wipe most of the product off on the inside of like the little stopper area. And then I literally will put my pinky on my face to kind of rest and have something to steady my hand. And then I'll start in the middle of my eye and rest, like literally rest the wand on my eyelashes and just go straight across. Just like that. And you just kind of use your eyelashes as a little track. And it's that simple. And open your eye like after every stroke just to see where it's even, where you need to add more. And I kind of like to make it thicker on the outer part. So there's one eye done. And basically what this will do is it will make your eyelashes look like they have more volume. And if you're going to wear falsies like I am, it kind of masks the band of them as well. Alright, so that's my finished eyeliner look. So I'm going to curl my lashes. They don't need to look too great because I am wearing false lashes. So now I'm going to go in with mascara, and this is the Lash Sensational. So like, my lashes look long enough, and if you don't want to wear falsies or if you're not comfortable, then just like, leave your natural lashes. Um, also a tip for not getting mascara on your eyelid is to tilt your head back so that way your lashes don't touch. You just want to like look down or tilt your head back really far. Okay, so now we're going to move on to face. Okay, so for face, I'm going to go in with my Dr. Brandt Pores Refiner Primer. I'm going to spray my face before. For prom, you want to use a foundation that you know works with your skin type, you love it, and you have the right color. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is my favorite foundation probably of all time, aside from my It Cosmetics CC Cream. I like this one as far as like actual foundations go, and it's drugstore, so it's pretty inexpensive. I'm going to take the light color. This is like my all-over color, but I'm pretty tan right now. So that's what I'm going to do for now, and then I'm going to take my more tan shade. Now if you're a beginner, you do not have to do this. I just realized that this is like kind of advanced, but it's fun, so fun's important too, right? I'm going to start blending because I think it's drying a little bit. I'm going to blend the light parts first. You always want to blend up with contour. Hope I don't look like the peanut butter baby after this. You always want to drag your bronzer up onto the ear so that it's coming from somewhere. Going with my Too Faced Multi Use Sculpting Concealer. Just gonna, that was a lot. Gonna place it there. A few dots here. A little line there, mustache area, nose, and do line there to start cleaning out that. 
and we're good. And now we're going to bake. And now that I have my under eyes done, I'm going to do the rest of where I put that highlighting concealer. Alright, so now that that's baking, we're going to go on to more face powders. So, so, um, oh my god, my freaking nose is running. Not even both sides, just one. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Finally got it. I'm going to go everywhere that we put the darker foundation. Let's just pretend this is a new blush. Also by Milani. And usually when I put on my blush, that's when I start dusting off this baking. Now it's time to highlight. I'm Reezy from ABH, my favorite highlighter. I'm gonna pop her right there. Now, since this is a natural glam, we're not gonna put too much on. Another trick I like to do is I take highlighter on my pinky and then I just go in a circle on my nose. Boop, it's the cutest thing ever. And then just go over with the brush to kind of soften it. So now for lips. I'm going to line them. My glossier gloss. That's it. I'm gonna go in with another L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow. Go back in with my pinky. Stamp it on like that on the inner corner. Okay, so for my last step, I'm gonna take a nude liner. This is the NYX Wonder Pencil, super cheap, just a couple bucks. I'm gonna run this in my inner or my like lower waterline. This will open up your eyes and make you look wide awake, super fresh, pretty. Yes, everything we want. Sorry, these lashes are super annoying. I might have to take them off. These will not stay on, baby. I have to put on different lashes. All right, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed that video. This is the finished look. Um, I tried to put on something cute. It's not really prom-y, but yeah, I was gonna go outside and take cute pictures with like my prom dress from last year, but it's um, it's nine. So the sun went down a few moons ago yeah this is what you get <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed that video i hope this look is a little bit easier more natural um for some people that aren't as like into makeup or they just don't really practice that often i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like the video if you did subscribe and hit the bell icon so you guys know when i upload and i love you